So I keep the cards in the same order that they come out of the deck. The Taurus. Universe. What are we going to talk about? All cards are male or female. And all the kings and queens are very mature in their thinking. And the overall energy of your reading, oh, is you. Taurus, the Hierophant. Wow. Okay, so let's we will do this reading and find out what is going on. I'm kind of excited about this one because it's got so many good cards in it. Okay, so the Hierophant. Surround your entire reading. Very spiritual card. This is your card, Taurus. So uh, this is all about traditional values, traditional morals, um, security, stability, groundedness. Uh, it's a real spiritual card about marriage, too. Hmm. This is what we're going to talk about, okay? Up in your highest energy, the Ace of Wands. Fresh starts, new beginnings. Look at just the glowing. These are the two strongest energies in your whole reading. What's happening? Looks like you're going to, for those of you this reading is for, may end up in a committed relationship pretty darn soon and uh, be moving forward in your life. I have the Three of Wands next to the Ace of Wands, right above the Hierophant. Three of Wands is waiting for your ship to come in. You're holding a, a staff of fresh starts and new beginnings, but there's ships out there, and I think your ship is coming in. And I think that you better prepare yourself for some big changes here. Because I also have the Ace of Pentacles next to the Three of Wands. And this is what's on your ship. Commitment. Wow. Security. Groundedness. Stability. It's an offer. Wow. It's a big offer. Right under the Ace of Wands. So we already have two Aces too. It's the Nine of Wands. Now, this is about being in a burden. About fresh starts and new beginnings. Either with this person okay or you've tried other relationships and they failed and you just feel burdened with carrying a relationship um you just you've tried it, it feels like you've tried and tried but it feels like it's coming in now and i feel like it was kind of a burden in trying it, it always is when things fall apart as you can see you're standing there so long you got vines growing up your staff of fresh starts and new beginnings here and so um yeah that gets tedious but uh, things are changing. I have the Eight of Pentacles on the other side of the Hierophant and under the Ace of Pentacles. Whoever this is coming in on this ship, they're going to want to focus, work, build on this relationship. Um, I think you are very grounded yourself. And I think you probably both have a good job. And are, you know, the two of you coming together is going to um, really make you a successful couple. Very traditional with that Hierophant there. And oh my God, goodness, this is a very, very strong soulmate coming in. So if you're in a relationship now, I, I think pretty soon here you should be expecting some sort of commitment offer. The, the, you both have that same connection when you look into each other's eyes. Uh, this is the card for Gemini. Gemini might be strong in your chart or around this reading. But, um, you know, you may have unfinished business in this life from a prior life. But this is a very powerful soulmate connection. You've tried before, and, and I can see that. But this wand is going to outride any, any, any of these, any of these others that you've, you know, maybe tried to do the long haul with. I have the four of wands right next to the lovers and under the hierophant. Good Lord, more wands? 11, 11, this is union between two people. There's lots of love. There's lots of joy and celebration associated with this card. This is also a card for marriage. Wow. I think a lot of you Taurus people out there um, may be expecting a commitment coming in. And this is a beautiful, loving commitment. Very strong, powerful soulmate connection. And looky here under the Eight of Pentacles, you got the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and then the Ten of Pentacles, which is right next to the Four of Wands. The two of you coming together is like, you're going to be a power couple. Not only in love, but in fortune. 
you're going to be able to work together, make plans. You're, you're going to be able to um, pull off the big one. You know what I mean? Um, this is a beautiful, strong, solid relationship. And you can work as a team together and get what you want together. Exactly what you've been waiting for. I need two more cards for Taurus's reading universe. Whoa, there's one. I'll pick it up. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I got the Knight of Swords next to the Ace of Pentacles. You are taking action here. You're seeking truth. You're seeking clarity. It's probably because you've been in these situations before where you thought that they'd pan out, you know, and do the long haul. And so you want to make sure. So you're taking action. You're speaking your mind. You're asking for their truth. Are they available? Are they committable? Four of Pentacles is right next to the Knight of Swords. Hey, hey, just hang on to your pentacles. Don't lend any money out when this card comes up. You may not get it back. Just hang on to what you got. You have a lot to be thankful and grateful for. So hang on to it and cherish it. And um, when it comes down to it, when you decide to merge, which it looks like you're going to do, um, you can use your pentacles with their pentacles and end up with 10, ten pentacles. Ha. Got the two of wands right next to the four of pentacles. You know, this is you holding that staff, ace of wands, a fresh starts and new beginnings, just like with the nine of wands. But you're looking out over the world and look at the light out there. Look at the dark clouds behind you. You're definitely moving forward and you're contemplating what is this going to look like? What is this going to feel like? You know, I think you're dreaming, daydreaming about this really turning out to be that special relationship. And I don't think you really know if this is your reading. It is your special relationship. I have the Three of Pentacles under the Knight of Swords and next to the Eight of, Pen uh, of, of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles, this is about um, like not really seeing eye to eye on how to move forward. I think you've known each other before and I'm going to tell you why in a minute. But I think you did not agree on how to move forward. So I think there was a space of time. And that's why we have the Three of Wands uh, as you waiting for your ship to come in. Uh, and I have more to say because I can see the rest of these cards. I have the Sun next to the Three of Pentacles and under the Four of Pentacles. This is all about fresh starts, new beginnings with lots of love and lots of joy. That's coming in. This is like one of my favorite cards. So, uh, you probably didn't know that you would have another fresh start in the beginning with somebody who um, is really a very strong soulmate. And right next to the sun, it is success and love. Under the two of wands, you're daydreaming. This is the card for success and love. Look at all those wands. People celebrating your success and love. And that wreath right there, that can symbolize engagement. So there is a whole lot going on here if this is your reading. Things are going to take the big turn in your life. I have the Two of Swords under the Three of Pentacles next to the Ten of Pentacles. I think that this moon, the moon is very important. It shines a path forward in the dark. I think you've been uh, living life with your heart guarded and your swords up. I think because of this relationship before, okay? Because I think, well, from these cards, this is a reunion. This is somebody you've known before, comes back into your life, and it takes off like gangbusters. So um, you were just guarded uh, for a very long time after this relationship uh, because the two of you did not see eye to eye in moving forward. Something changed. Uh, maybe... People grow, they change, they have, you know, things happen where, and they start to look at things differently or they feel their own mortality, whatever it might be. Um, I've got the Three of Cups next to the Two of Swords and next to the Sun. This is a reunion. There's two cups of love. You still love this person, by the way. So if this is your reading, you know you still love this person. They still love you. You may not know that uh, if this hasn't already happened. But for a lot of you, you're already with this person, okay, that you, you're having a reconnection with. Two cups being spilled into one. This is a beautiful card with lots of love. It's very celebratory. 
And it's under the sun, your fresh start, your new beginning, two cards of celebration on each side of the sun, and then we have the magician. You manifested all this to come it back around for you and your person. There's the infinity symbol, the symbol of intuition and knowing. You, you have all the instruments that you need to make anything manifest that you want to manifest. You've been using them. The sword, the cup, the, the pentacle, the wand. Um, so you manifested them back into your life. You never stopped loving them. That is how you manifested them into your life. You daydreamed about them. Oh my gosh. And it's all happening the way you had hoped it would before and, and didn't. But that doesn't mean it won't work this time. So this time, um, they feel the connection very strongly, just as you do. It's, it's going to be a very successful relationship. And I mean successful in love and finances, both. Wow. So Taurus, let's pick out a message from your guardian angels and spirit guides. This may or may not have to do with this reading, but it is a message they want you to hear. So let's pull it out and see what it is. Okay. For Taurus. Glasses. Here we go. Just got to find your cards right in there. It's the Eight of Action. So I'm going to read it to you. There's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you. And yet... It's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. If you're asked to travel and take a flight, then do so with confidence. That might be why the Two of Wands is here too, and the Three of Wands, looking out over the ocean, looking out over the world, especially with Two of Wands. So, wow. A lot going on in this reading, and it's all beautiful. It's all going to work out beautiful. 